Hi, and thanks for joining my tutorial today. I want to talk to you about something very simple to do, but I think very important, and that is how to make somebody's eyes really pop in a picture. Now, if you look at any portrait, really one of the things that you focus on is the eyes, so it's very important to make those eyes really pop. So there's only a few simple steps that you need to do in Photoshop to do this. First thing we want to do is create a copy of our layer. So we hit Command J, and as you can see right over here, we now have a new layer. Now we're going to apply a filter. The filter is one of my favorites, and it's very versatile. It's right here under Other, and it's called High Pass. So you click on the High Pass filter, and now over here you see that you get the option of raising or lowering the amount that you want that high pass to uh, be integrated into the picture. I like for eyes to use somewhere around 3.8 to 4. I click OK and now you can see I got this real grayed out picture but with a lot of definition. Well what I want to do then is go on the layer button and go to overlay. I don't want to use it in normal mode. I want to go into overlay so that fine high pass filter overlays on top of that photo. Now you can see I have a lot of structure on that picture, but really what I want to focus on is the eyes only. So how do I do that? Well, I go over here and I create a layer mask. So holding the Option key down, I hold the Option key down, and I hit Add Layer Mask. Now you can see I have this mask, this black mask over here, and the picture now is back to the way it was before. Well, that's because the mask is on top of it. Now the beauty of this is I can just paint in the area, so I click on my brush, my brush right over here, I click on, click on the brush, and I turn the opacity down and the flow down to, you know, opacity down to 85 and maybe the flow down to 72, and I choose a brush size that is appropriate to just paint in the eyes. What I do then is I just paint over the eyes, and what I'm doing at that point is just painting in the high pass filter on just the areas that I choose. So when I do that and I paint it in, you can see I really helped to pop those eyes out and you have a very different look to this picture. So if I took that off, I click the layer off, you can see the eyes, you know, while pretty, are still a little dull. When I click that button in, you really watch those eyes pop. So simply, now you have your picture ready, you can flatten that image and save that image and now you have a great looking photo with some eyes that really pop. Thank you for taking a look at my tutorial. I hope you learned something that's helpful to you tonight. Thanks again.